Hey, what's up? So today we're talking about summer to fall outfits. If you're like me and you live in Southern California where the fall doesn't start till maybe the end of October, beginning of November, this is the video for you because I deal with that struggle of wanting to look cute and fall ready with having this beautiful sunny weather. I just kind of want to run down some things that you can do to kind of upgrade your wardrobe and you know taking some of your summer pieces into fall so if you're interested then let's get this video started I want to talk about is skirts I think skirts are just always a great way to kind of layer with and especially the fall so the first thing I wanted to show you was maybe like a printed skirt of course when we think of fall we think of yellows and oranges and browns and reds so I just kind of wanted to stick to that color palette in a way and I feel like this skirt is the epitome of what fall is. It's like my favorite piece that I've ever thrifted. It just has all these different patterns and it almost has kind of like that quilted uh, style of like having different patterns all meshed into one skirt. And so I layered it with a dark orange turtleneck anytime the the weather changes turtlenecks are my go-to they're always a great layering piece as you can tell i'm wearing one right now play up with the fall theme i went with my cowboy boots one because it just adds a little bit more color and i think it adds a little fun element to this outfit so you're still getting that breeze from the skirt you're covered up on the top and that's literally california weather all right so the next piece i wanted to show you is this kind of shorter skirt this is a mini skirt but it's kind of fun because it does have that ruffle at the end I feel like this type of skirt was definitely really popular in the summer and also spring the cool thing about this skirt is that it's orange see with the fall colors this is perfect skirt for it usually I would pair it with a cardigan but I thought it would be fun to kind of play out the yellow in that skirt so I decided to pair it with this cropped Kind of yellow sweatshirt. I think this is just a fun way to add the color into the wardrobe and mixing patterns and colors are always fun for me and different. I feel like a uh, majority of the time when I think of fall I just want to go straight to the dark colors and just sticking very neutral but I think if you have all these fun and summery pieces this is a great way of just kind of layering it. And another skirt I want to talk about is the denim skirt. I feel like with the denim skirt uh, it's so versatile because obviously it's denim and you can style with different colors and different schemes and I just kind of wanted to keep it neutral to kind of show you what you could do with it. So the first one I paired with just a simple flowy um, kind of elegant top that I recently thrifted and I just love the little ruffles on it. This is definitely long sleeve but it's a little lightweight material so it still keep you breezy. If you want to make that transitional weather, a blazer is always a go-to because for me, a blazer can obviously cover everything you're wearing and then still show the legs and you still look good. I feel like this blazer in particular is very uh, close to like the 90s style that I've been trying to kind of try out for myself. Now we're going to talk about tops. So if you live in a warmer climate, we wear a lot of spaghetti straps or spaghetti top. The way of doing it is just incorporating that color scheme. So as you can see here, I have this kind of nightgown spaghetti strap top and it has all these darker colors, you know, a little purple, some darker oranges and reds and it has also velvet texture and just pairing it with the skirt are great just to walk around the day in a warmer day. But since we're talking more of the transitional weather, I always like to put an outer layer so I decided to go for this beautiful colorful cardigan that I got so long ago and it's one of my favorite pieces. Um, I just love the different color schemes. It's red obviously with some orange but it also has like a hint of blue in there and white and I think it's just a great way of putting this whole outfit together and of course to be a little extra I added some booties, some red booties. You could also just close up the cardigan tucking into the skirt and you have uh, another kind of outfit if it starts to get cold and you just don't want to show the top. Great way of kind of just mixing and matching. So I always like 
to pair like a certain kind of spaghetti strap with an outer layer or a third piece for the fall. So the next one I have here is like this simple bustier top and like I said I think this type of style has been going on a lot recently and this one in particular has a gangnam pattern and definitely something that I wore in the spring and the summer but what I thought would be cool and different was to add another layer with a cardigan it's just a great layer of even if it is too hot and you want to take off the cardigan you still have a bomb ass outfit um, but obviously if it does get chilly you can always put it over so uh, just a simple nice cardigan is a great way to add that third kind of fall layer piece I paired it with some meals uh, just to kind of matchy matchy because sometimes I like to do that. The thing I want to talk about is just this simple black mesh top and talking about fall kind of weather. I wanted to do like a going out outfit. Black mesh top I like to use for layering obviously because I feel like when mesh top a lot of us maybe don't feel as confident um, just wearing it with a bra. But for this instance I did. I just feel like it's a great a night out outfit it's definitely something I would wear just going to like a rooftop bar or very LA way good just bralette underneath pair with simple jeans and a belt and obviously a plain booty I think it's a great way of transitioning into the fall weather it does have kind of the concepts of the darker tone definitely something I would wear other thing since I'm talking about this black piece I'm gonna go into dresses so dresses is obviously something we wore a lot in the summer and spring and I'm just generalizing and assuming that we all wore it. What I took was this simple black strapless dress and with that black mesh top I kind of put it underneath. I put the dress on top and I feel like with these booties you have definitely another kind of night out outfit. Sexy but fun and playful and I uh, just kind of like the layering of, of both of it. Something like this I feel like with just the shoes you can make a difference so like over the knee boots that are going to cover it. What I like to do is just pair with a nice simple basic ankle booty. So the next outfit I just took the strapless black dress and I put a blazer over it. Uh, this blazer definitely has this oversized look to it and it can obviously hide the dress. But what I liked about it, it kind of gives this like 90s vibe or style that I've been seeing a lot lately and I'm trying for myself and I kind of do like it. These combat boots and just making it a little bit more casual because of the sexiness of the dress. So also put tights if it gets too cold and what I enjoy is always having a third piece go over a dress. I don't know why, for me that's like... I love it when that happens. Definitely something I would wear and have worn. The next piece is actually the dress I'm wearing right now, which is this spring dress with all these beautiful colors, greens and light blues. What I wanted to do to make it a little bit more fall-like, I paired it with some gray over-the-knee boots, um, especially because of the length of this dress. Just more sleek to me in a way. And you can obviously wear it like that. It's just a nice, simple basic. But what I like to do was add a cardigan. And all I did was just kind of tie it in front of the dress. And I think it just kind of put it together, make it a little bit more warm. I feel like this dress has some nice details. It's a little opening in the front, so I kind of wanted to show that off. To me, this is just like the good way of taking that summer dress and adding different layers to it. And then lastly is just adding a turtleneck. I feel turtlenecks, if you don't have any, you got to get some because turtlenecks, Steve Jobs knew that a long, long time ago. They are just one of those things that are awesome to layer with because I feel this dress had so much dark blue in it. I wanted to take a little more, a lighter top. So this is just a simple white turtleneck and this one's more fitted because this dress is fitted on me as well. I just paired it with some Nikes. I just think it's a very simple way of making this dress a little bit more casual because obviously the print in itself is kind of what is standing out. It's really cool and it's definitely what I'm going to wear for the rest of the day and love it. That is all for today's video. I really hope that it kind of inspired you taking your summer pieces and adding some fun 
fall transitional pieces into your wardrobe and if you did like this video give me a thumbs up that way I know what kind of content you want to see and if you haven't already don't forget to subscribe I post a lot of thrift and outfit inspo videos but also I'll throw that lifestyle video in there as well if you're interested in following my socials I'll link them down below and yeah that is all for this video thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one